Is he light? Sorry, Adam Dubroni light? Adam Dubroni light, yeah. Irwin Cricken Park in the Bloor Lansdowne area is usually a nice place for families, but residents say they occasionally see Johns and low rent hookers having sex in the grass. Sometime last year, I seen a. I was by my, my door there. I see some guy leaning over and some woman was giving him Drug dealers come and go, but it's not a big enough problem to keep kids from playing soccer with their dads or using the play equipment. But there's also a disused underground tunnel at the edge of the park that goes under the nearby north-south rail tracks. Large rats still find a way out of it. It's damp. Uh, it's a great breeding ground for that. And uh, being so close to the tracks, that it's just going to increase the... Uh, population of the, of the rats. The rats are a major reason why a group of neighborhood residents has banded together to protest how the city has gone ahead and tore up a dead-end stretch of Patton Road with the intention of possibly turning the space into a community garden. We should have consultations who can address these issues and he can sort of maybe respond, maybe get somebody here to see if uh, um, if that is going to be a, a growing problem. According to a city staff report, the conversion of the dead end street to green space will cost $65,000. They blame Adam Gimbroni for leaving them in the dark. Councillor Gimbroni said in a telephone interview that consultation will happen. For Sun Media, I'm Brett Clarkson.